without a, without a shadow of a doubt for as long as I've been Muslim, the you could say that the kind of like the the out of all the times out of all the years I've been Muslim, the the most robust years in terms of dawah was in the nineties. Salam alaikum. Mr. Moderator, our distinguished guests, brothers and sisters, our friends and, and our enemies. Sonic Ram Salah out to Brother Jordan, uh, family, uh, every panel, everybody. Wa alaikum right. salam. All right, go on. Mm. Uh, once again, Brother Jordan, great show as usual. Right. And actually, <laughs> oh I, I just finished work and I just uh, caught the tail end of your conversation with King Kale. Right. Yeah, and you know what I do on my channel. So it's like right up my alley. <laughs> yeah. 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 Awesome. I did think I'll pick through the chat. But if Features was there, this would be great. Yeah. Be great. Yeah. That's that's pretty much why I came on because I wanted to talk right. to, to talk to the brother King Kale because right. a lot of his sentiments are spot on. And because yeah. I have some background and where he's coming from you know it's it's essentially something that like that we deal with on on our channel here and muslims have to understand that islam is the religion of truth it is not a special type of group or an ethnic group or some sort of like and what happens is because you've been practicing islam for so many centuries in your country or whatever region you are you essentially begin to believe what your cultural episodes are islam itself and you carry a lot of that baggage into Islam. And what has happened now in, in modern times, because of the, the migration of many people in different areas of the world, it has caused Muslims now to meet each other, mostly in the lands of the enemies, right? You have your, your European lands, you have the Western lands, I'm from Canada, you know, you have the states and whatnot. And now we're beginning to see what certain people are doing in their countries and comparing it with Islam itself, right? So I've been Muslim now for a long, long time, right? And I can tell you without, without a shadow of a doubt, for as long as I've been Muslim, the you could say that the kind of like the, the out of all the times, out of all the years I've been Muslim, the, the most robust years in terms of dawah was in the 90s, because that's when we first started seeing the immigrants coming in. You know, we start, started seeing them coming from from, you know, the Arab world and, Somalia and Pakistan, these type of things. And in those days, it was pure brotherhood. We did not see what the brother King Kale was mentioning in terms of racism. We didn't see that at all. We were legit brothers, right? We were, we were close. And as the diaspora community started growing and bonding with their own special uh, groups, that's when we started seeing what King Kale was talking about, this type of um, animosity between other people groups, right, and Black folk. Because black folk have a long history of supporting other people groups, very long. If you look at, for example, what's going on in Palestine right now, go back even as far as the 60s, even in, some, in the 50s, you will find black civil rights leaders who are not Muslim supporting the Palestinian cause on record. Look at Malcolm X, look at James Baldwin, look at even Muhammad Ali. Look, look at their statements, what they're saying in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Right. And it wasn't until maybe the 90s that we started seeing some Arabs become vocal about the Palestinian issue. So this is something that we have always we have a long tradition of supporting people in their struggle. And this never gets re reciprocated. So I understand where, where the, the brother King Kale is coming from. When it comes, though, uh, to your relationship between the worship, the worship, which, who is Allah and the worshiper, which is all human beings, understand that when you seem to know that you've, you've been, been reading the Quran, it's very clear that you've been reading the Quran, right? Does it become obvious you, to you, Brother King Kale, that Allah is teaching racism in the Quran itself? Is that what he's teaching? You see, brother, I don't know how much you caught up the, the lesson in that, right? As a Pan-Africanist, bro, I know that he's not teaching the racism. Right. That's and why I removed the religion. I know it's not the religion. Brother, this is how Garvey was able to maneuver, etc. And that we know it's not really it's to do with those particular temperaments. Yeah. You see, the ice people, Europeans, mountain mm -hmm. people, Asians, Middle Easterns, the sand people. You see what I'm trying to explain to you in that, right? They're bringing in their thing, brother, and it's subjugating. We as sun people, right? Mm -hmm. It's making us say to ourselves, we can't, why am I going to be in these religions 
around these people and they keep oppressing brother it's not nice you know brother and you know it's not nice brother the things that we have to face and we're very strong resilient people as well brother you see yeah. we have to wake up and tend to people's feelings when we're telling them right mm -hmm. about our oppression mm -hmm. you see and this is what makes us say to us all right we're going to keep it over here and you go over there and then the thing is brother you know when we separate brother through the um, yep. civil rights movement, especially in the UK and America, etc. When we separate and want to do our own thing, they start complaining, they lose their minds. It's like, how dare you leave us? You're supposed to be with us. You're supposed to do what we tell you to do, how mm -hmm. we dictate. And that's where we know that it's more than a religion. If that makes any sense. Right. So now we understand, right, that it's not the religion that is, is spreading racism. We understand that. We know this. this is what makes a brother like Jordan and my brother, who I love for the sake of Allah. You understand? Because we come upon that that brotherhood, the brotherhood which is essentially, you know, sent by God Himself. If somebody goes outside of that, right? How is it that you prevent yourself from the truth because of the actions of people? I'm gonna be honest with you, brother, right? And this is gonna be shocking. I cannot, brother, cannot, brother, connect with non-African people mm -hmm. when they haven't got rid of the unethical code of conduct which denies or control African human rights in them religious brother. I'm not going to go to no mass brother when they're in there praying and then we live our life and they're, they're telling black people that if you build through your people it's nationalism what I've got all the shops mm -hmm. you see all the Asian shops the European shops you see what I'm saying and that all these yeah. things and I mean we want to build our shops right they're saying you can't do but we're going to the mosque and praying same thing in the, in the church. I, mean, I can't do all that, brother, man. Please, I'll be please, honest with you. Brother Kinkale, I'm with you, right? My question again is, mm. right? It's not about that because believe me, if you ever watch any video on my channel, I give those folks that work, okay? I give them that work for that. The very same thing that you were talking about when it comes to black issues all of a sudden, no, it's nationalism. But again, that's why I mentioned in the past, there wasn't this type of thing. It was brotherhood. Y'all hearing me? It was brotherhood. This this type of nationalism and racism, we started seeing that after. And you got to understand how Western countries, how they work. They work based upon these divide and conquer strategies. You understand? So if other folks are, are following that, why would you prevent yourself from the truth? Because they are doing that. You get me? Is it required? Does God require for you to reject his message because other people have decided not to follow his message in, in full full order. Is that what God requires of you? Okay, now brother, you know who Lukman is, don't you? Yeah, of course, yeah. You know that he was from, he's, he's a Habashi or he was, he's from the Bani Israel, I believe. One okay. of them two, right? Now, we know that he had the wisdom, right? Yeah, of course, yeah. But he taught his son. Mm -hmm. Now, do you know what he was going through, brother, in that time? What do you mean? What he was going through in that Can time? you remember what he was going through, brother? He was enslaved, mm -hmm. oppression, etc. Mm -hmm. Now, brother, we've got to look at things carefully. Life is very difficult, you know, you yep. see? And we as black people, right, we face so much, brother. Yep. I've got relatives, parents, right, in the UK, mm -hmm. brother, that's done activism. Imagine that, brother. Afro-Arab mom doing civil rights, helping out and an Afro-Caribbean father, brother, in the UK. I've seen all that. I've seen my brothers and sisters in America, brother, what they've gone through. We've all united. Brother, we don't want to be in situations where we have to keep getting oppressed. When I go into my house, brother, I'll be honest with you on that, right? When I go into my house, right, my wife is a black woman. So I don't want to come into my house and there's non-African people in my house trying to use unethical code of conduct when your house is your sanctuary do you understand what i'm saying brother saying that and that's what fully, but like, right. Goes right back go on go on brother go on because go on. these mm. folks who are acting on ethical right. right right it's an indictment against them you know what i mean but you preventing yourself right. from their behavior who's that indictment right. against now once again brother you see have you heard of abdullah hakim quick yeah of course you see that brother there? Yeah, that is a good brother, you know. Yeah, know. You know what I like about that brother there? He balances his Islam and his culture. And by the way, you know very well that he is a kharraj as well. He's a graduate, right? Yeah. You see? And for years, you see what I'm saying? Because my family members, I've met him, you see? Now, this brother is a great example. 
that the black Muslims, they could watch this brother and say, you know what, he can balance it, he does teachings, he speaks about the court, he doesn't hide things, oh, Adam is not black, what you see some of the syncretes black Muslims do, you see what I'm saying, when they're around non-black Muslims, oh, the Prophet Muhammad I, I is what... I personally haven't right? seen that, right? Like, I just right. want to make a disclaimer. I personally haven't okay. seen that. Right, from right. the Arabic word, uh, from the etymology of Adam, it comes from the word Udma, and it's well known right. that, that word means not just black, but jet black, right? I haven't seen it. Right. Right, 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 right. I you personally, see? if you've seen it, that, that's a different thing. But me personally, I can't say that I've witnessed that. Right? Well, Ad, so, well Adam, Adam means that, and Adam. Paper gold. You see, black folks are chumps. If America were to tell you to bring all the rocks in this country to her, and she'll give you a million dollars for it. You'll do it. And the next day she'll tell you we're using rocks for currencies, chump.